Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to ask a few of the companies to um, give their impressions of the, the mission. Of course, the, um, all of the representatives will get an opportunity to, to speak and when the media pose questions and interactions. So in, in the order, I would ask the representative from Henderson's, uh, the distillery, and Lewin Paints to give brief remarks on, on their impressions of, of the mission. I must say I was very pleased to be asked to go on this mission to accompany the government and the rest of the private sector on this trade mission to the FCORS. And we feel that it has been very beneficial to us as the only manufacturing company of Galvanize in the OECS um, for the past 45 years. Uh, that we have never exported north of Antigua to the French Caribbean outer regions and we are now having talks with businesses in those countries to export to those countries even though they do have their own manufacturers in those countries they are now willing to work with us and see how we can work with them to export to these countries um, because it's closer than Europe, it's closer than where they get most of their things from, we're just down the road. We have as Mr. Telmac could probably tell you, we have shipments coming through going to Guadeloupe. And so therefore, it has been very beneficial for us on a manufacturing side and an export side. And we are very thankful again to the government and Mr. Green for allowing us to go on this mission and to sign the sign of the MOU. I represent the Antigua Distillery. And for us, this trade mission is something that we have been looking forward to and planning for a while. For our sister company, we actually represent the Martinique from Clement. So we have been in dialogue with, with companies in Martinique before in order to get our rums exported to, to, to the French islands. However, because of language barrier and um, difference in, in, in laws and, well, them not being full members of CARICOM and so on, it was really, sort of difficult, you know, to create that sort of synergy. But what this, this, this mission really accomplished um, for us was that we got a better working knowledge of the laws governing the, the whole alcohol and, and spirit industry in the, in the French islands. Even though I wasn't there for the Martinique leg, because I had to come back for sailing week, right? The, the information that we got in, in, in Guadeloupe was extremely helpful. And um, for one company in particular that I had an extensive meeting with, they deal with packaging and, and so on, and they have expressed interest in actually coming here to Antigua and partnering with a new packaging for, for rums that is quite popular in the French islands. Where we here in Antigua, we, we, are, we have been stuck in the more traditional type of packaging for spirits, where it's mainly glass bottles and that sort of stuff. They have come up with a, a unique form of packaging, which you know, um, entails boxes and you know, like single serve packs and RTDs and so on. And you know, that was extremely eye-opening for us. And you know, seeing what we can take our locally products from and to and actually get it into, in, into their market. So for us, you know, this, this was a real eye-opening experience and we're looking forward for them coming up in, in June where we can really sit down and, and take, they, they're actually gonna come and we're gonna take them on a tour of our distillery and you know, from there, we're gonna start that, that process. So that was it for, for us. Bonjour, madame, monsieur. <laughs> Comment ça va? Ça va bien? Oui. Okay, it was. We were very happy to be part of this very important mission. I must commend um, Barbara and her team. It was a lot of hard work. For us at Living Paints, it was a new experience. It was like a new date, meeting someone for the first time. As we noticed in Guadeloupe, um, they have different standards. Um, different taxes, different rules that we have to adhere to. So it was a first step for us. It was a tip just wet in our toes and we look forward to going back maybe on another mission or get in touch with the Chamber of Commerce and see what we can achieve. We did meet with some contractors 
and different companies, and they did like what they saw. So I guess it will take some time for everything to grow. And Barbara and your team, I want to thank you all again for a good journey, and we're looking forward to better ones. Thank you.